Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality assurance. Good. So I saw you on a YouTube, and I've got a couple questions for you. Um, are you familiar with the YouTube you did on the uh, Hager 100XS, which is the... Um, Full handle? Uh, yeah, no, you no, it's uh, you you drill the holes in and you set a tap. It's a kit. Um, is it XS or PS? PS, maybe. I don't have yeah, it in front of okay. me. It's PS, I think. Well, yeah, PS. Well, I, I, I hear you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, so my yes, question. Okay. So my question is, we're doing six doors. So w first question is, we don't need nine, you know, nine hundred uh, pieces of brass. Uh, you know, that's re that's a ridiculous amount. So it looked to me like you could, the way you had it, you could actually buy each individual piece from the manufacturer. Or do you sell the kit with a lot, you know, a lot less pieces? Uh, no to both. Um, so since the kit is awfully expensive um, and not being able to piece these parts together, I imagine, how many hinges do you have to do? Six? Yes. Why don't you just get six non-removable pin hinges? What type of hinges are they? Okay, well, here's the problem. We're using this for a different purpose. Um, we actually put these in and so the doors won't open over 90 degrees because they're going to hit the outside wall. So we put the pins in and the doors don't open past a certain point. Huh. That's interesting. And how do you accomplish that by, by using a pin? That pin just stops it from going farther. I could send you a picture of what we did in the past. Um, and you can take a look at it, but I've got some outside yeah, swing I, doors. It's not necessary. I can visualize. You're going to drill and tap the barrel. That pin's going to stick off the face of the unit. The door's going to get to a certain position, and the concept is that it stops. Um, yeah, I, I, I understand. I'd love to see it, but I, I do. In my mind's eye, I, I can see what you're saying. And that's how, otherwise, the doors, if they open, they're just going to get banged into the outside wall. Who, whose idea was it to sense? use this as a as a stop? Who 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 came up with that? Uh, whoever my last door guy was. Okay. Probably five that's or six a, years ago. That's in, uh, it's, it's ingenious. Does it work, or do the small set screws shear? It works, it works like a dream. My goodness. Because you put three of them in, one in each hinge. Awesome. I, I have never heard of that application uh, of doing something in that in that regard. Um, yeah. So I mean, you know, you need to you need to basically NRP the hinge, but you need to do it in such a way where that pin's going to be drilled in a particular location. Number one. Number two, it's going right. to stick out um, whatever half of an inch, I'd suppose. Yeah. It, you don't you don't take it all the way in. It sticks out part of the part of the way. Right. Right, right. So my question is, um, we want to do the same thing. I I've got a guy installing a new set of doors who's never done this, but I'm thinking he could take the old hinge and figure out where it was drilled and drill at the same spot, right? Use it as a pattern. That certainly sounds That's reasonable, yes, of course. Yeah. So what I wanted to know, is there a way of buying the drill, the tap, because, uh, you know, you, you found out who made each piece and just buy them separately and then buy, you know, six six set screws or 12 set, set screws, whatever. Um, or in your case, just yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I, I, forgive me, but it's a trip to the hardware store, isn't it? Well, the way it sounded like to me is you, at least... The, the tap part came from one manufacturer, the way you, you, you said it, and then yet the drill was from another manufacturer, and the tap was from another manufacturer. 
Well, that's just where Hager is sourcing that material. I mean, if I walked into, you know, your friendly neighborhood Ace Hardware and got some set screws and got a tap and got a tap handle and a the proper size drill bit, um, that's all it is. Now, the people who buy that Hager kit, they don't have to do six inches. They have to do six inches every week for 10 years. You know what I mean? They right. have a lot of a lot of that kind of work to do. Yeah, I certainly understand right. why you can't buy hinges. No one no one makes this. Now, you're you're aware of the proper hardware to 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 limit a door's opening, right? You they they make stuff that's meant to do this and it's been engineered to Well, do the only it. thing I know about the only th- the only thing I know about is the thing they put at the top. You know, you pull yeah, the pin and the you top. put that little the little thing on the top. Well, but, we must be know, talking about two it, different things. You know, if you walk into a sports stadium or a uh, a hotel or you walk into an airport, there are slide tracks that are at the top of the door, and they will absolutely limit the degree of opening, and they do so in such a way that it's been engineered and tested to work. They're, they're fly traps? What does that mean? Slide track would be two typical uh, words that I would use to describe them. They're properly called overhead stops. Can you get them on each individual hinge? No, sir. This is a slide track that mounts up at the top of the door and uh, onto the header of the frame. Oh, okay. This, these are nice residential doors. That would look bad. Okay, you say. These, I mean, they, they make them concealed, so you never see them. They make them concealed, so you'll never see them? Do you have uh, something like a cut sheet on something like that you could send me and do you sell it? Yeah, you can in my website just look at on the left side, go to overhead stops, overhead stops and holders, and you'll certainly find the concept of of what it is. It's literally overhead stops and holders. Okay, I'm gonna have to pull that up. Hang on. Um what's your website? Uh, A as in architectural, B as in builders, supply, S U P P L Y. Dot net. Okay, and I'm going to look under. What what is going to be the least obtrusive looking? The one that's thoroughly concealed and is invisible when the door is closed. And what? Okay, is there a number on that or something? Oh, lots. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of series when it comes to that. Uh, the Glenn Johnson uh, catalog would be super good to look at. Um, and Glutton Johnson. Glenn. Glenn Johnson. Glenn Johnson. Okay. And what am I looking for? What's it called? Overhead. An overhead stop is what they're called. The um, I'm pulling up the catalog so I can give you a part number for a concealed. Are the doors already manufactured? They're getting manufactured right now. Oh, now would be the time to include that information to them. Uh, you would want to be, depending on the door width, but it would be a 410 series is what it would be. Um, and it would be just so elegant to do it this way. Um, is this like high-end residential kind of stuff? Uh, it's being manufactured by Colby and Colby. Uh, are they a window door manufacturer? Yeah, they're like, um, oh, like our uh, Pella or whatever. They're just a big manufacturer. Oh, okay. These are clad. These are clad doors. Okay. Um, so Glenn Johnson makes a number of series. <clears throat> Their 410 series would be the one that I would recommend uh, that get reviewed. Okay. Um, are you at a computer right now or on your phone? I can get to a, uh, a – uh, hang on. get to uh, iPad. Hang on for a second. Oh, yeah, don't bother with that. It's not – It's. It, the, I wanted to pass you through live chat a file. It's just not going to work very well. Um yeah. So, um, oh, so you're trying to do this on an iPad. Yeah, that's a bit limiting. Um, so how about if you tell me your email address and then I will email you the catalog and tell you what page to go to. 
Okay, that'd be great. Um, Architectural Builder Supply is pleased to present you with this recording of the technical question that is listed in the title of this video. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.